So today is January 15th, uh, 2015. And today, I guess, is the, the kickoff of kind of documenting, uh, for the first time, the progress I've been making uh, regarding my Moss collection. Um, here we have in front of us is a uh, tapestry of Moss that I've collected, I'd say, over the past week um, from various locations, my backyard, uh, as well as uh, a local golf course uh, where I was given permission to um, basically just walk through the golf course and you know on the side of the woods and along the side of the building was able to pick some pieces of moss up and I've, I've, I believe that I've been able to um, been able to identify uh, some of the moss here um, and if anyone has any opinions and, and would like to give me some feedback to correct me on some of these that would be that would be great. Um, so basically what we have in front of us is a, uh, a two and a half foot, half foot wide um, uh, container, uh, plastic container. Um, you know, really nothing special. Uh, about a foot and a half deep, a foot and a half lengthwise. So um, basically it's, it's, it's about 28 degrees outside. Again, it's, it's middle of January. I, I would have, ideally I would have liked to have taken this and would have installed this in, in my uh, tapestry that I have in the backyard um, that's already growing and it's been growing for about a month. Unfortunately, the ground is a little bit too hard um, for me to work with right now. And due to the cold conditions, you know, it was four degrees not long ago, I, I would much rather, uh, I would much rather just keep the moss inside. And then once springtime comes around, I would like to take this tapestry uh, out into the, uh, out into the wild, I guess. So, as we look closely, you know, we can see that there are some really nice finds here. This is a piece that unfortunately broke in half, but it was a nice pad. And I, I, looking at, you know, looking at it closely, I was trying to identify, okay, what type of moss this is. And I wanted to say that this was, a, uh, you know, I could see, you know, perhaps, you know, a little bit of uh, hair cap moss, star moss. Um, but again, as that, that all remains to be seen, um, over here, I believe is, is, um, I'm pretty sure that this is spoon moss. And the interesting thing about spoon moss is that it, it kind of has these like long hairs. It's almost like this shaggy material and these, you know, this particular piece and this piece over here were actually pulled off a building. Um, it was growing vertically and, uh. It was a, I, I, to this date, it's my best find. Um, and throughout, you'll kind of see most of this is very compact. And if you'll notice that uh, it has a white material looking on it, I actually sprayed this with buttermilk. And I know that there's a lot of myths out there saying that, okay, this, you know, buttermilk is, 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 is a good way to perpetuate moss. I know this has been debunked, but at this, at this juncture, I'm just giving it a try. And if I see that the moss is not reacting well to it, I'm just going to convert over to bottle water or, or rain water. Um, I don't know the pH of my tap, so I'm not trying to use my tap water yet. Here's another interesting find. Um, I, I actually have been pretty successful in finding this. And you can see this is just a bowl that I'm putting this in. Um, I believe this is star moss or tree moss. Um, Again, I'm, I'm working on my vocabulary here. I believe this is hypnum, and as the sun's coming out, uh, very shaggy hypnum. Um, if not, I actually, I take that back. I think this might actually be fern moss. Um, I think I have some hypnum here though. And this is very flat. So I wanna say that if, if I had a bet on it, I wanna say that this is, this is hypnum. Um, Really cool. I, w I wish I could find more of it. And this, this again, was pulled off the side of that, that building on the Country Club site. Um, I, I felt like that was one of my best finds because it was just such an interesting uh, thing to see just in terms of finding moss that was growing in a, in a location that I, I never would have figured it would be growing. Um, more different kind of moss. I believe I pulled this over a rock a week ago. And still not sure what type it is. It's my dog. Uh, so that's where I am. Um, and as you can see here, I also have um, 
little tiny bits here. Um, that I, I want to say this is uh, uh, white hair cat moss, if, if, that, if that's correct. This actually came from uh, from out front, uh, from the sidewalk, and I, I thought it was really nice and beautiful. And it, it really has, you can see more over here, and I think some down here and over here. So it's really neat. It's 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 uh, one of my favorite type of mosses. I, I think it's just really consistent. It's nice and flat. It's a beautiful material. Um, right now, this is very compact. Um, when I had placed the moss in, I was pushing it inward as I was placing in more moss. So this is very compact. And, and one of my concerns is that it might be too compact where the moss isn't able to breathe. I know that moss doesn't like have le having leaves on top of it. My concern is, okay, if I'm compacting this too much, if this is too tight, um, is it going to have an adverse effect on the moss? And also there's a lot of sticks in here, a lot of, a lot of little pieces of debris that I'm trying to remove. Um, my other question is, okay, do, do, do I need to get rid of that? Is that gonna run risk of having an adverse effect on the moss? Um, other than that, I'm, I'm just kind of waiting until it gets nice out and uh, waiting for me to be able to go out into the wild and start uh, planting this moss um, in the open and start doing some what I would call real prototyping in preparation for this upcoming spring and looking ahead to this summer and next fall as well. And I'll end it there.